A one-man crime spree in a popular business district. A half dozen smash, smash and grab burglaries over the past two nights. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan spoke with shaken business owners on Walnut Street in Shadyside as police look for clues in surveillance video. The thief hit small family businesses, some of them operating without incident for more than a decade, but now suddenly on guard. Stood at the top of the sidewalk and the glass was totally shattered. There was probably an, uh, there was an opening large enough for a person to walk right through. The spree began early Wednesday morning with a rock through the window of Angela's Cafe. Stepping through the broken glass, cook Richard Krause discovered the cash drawer was gone. Well, I think I was the trial run. And then last night? And then last night was a more adventurous. This morning, a half dozen other businesses, including Dina Ellen's, The Barcode, and Maureen Staley's Picket Fence Boutique, made the exact same discovery when they came to work. And the front door glass was shattered um, all over the sidewalk in the store. I saw this on the floor of the store with some other merchandise sort of thrown about. The computer was thrown down and I realized they had taken the cash drawer. The thief hit the store Kauai as well and can be seen doing it on this video, hurling a rock through the door and entering the store. He can be seen hitting other stores as well, but the video may be of limited value to investigators because he's so well disguised with a hoodie. Very unsettling, um, though. Huh? It is unsettling. It is unsettling. But it is a very safe neighborhood. Um, we haven't had a lot of issues, so it's just sort of shocking that this happened. Staley's empty drawer was found several blocks away with some identifying receipts. It was only a little more than $100, but upsetting nonetheless. And Corsi said times these days are already tough enough. It's kind of sad, you know, all of the businesses that this uh, person has burglarized have been small businesses, small family businesses, and COVID's been tough on everyone. Now, all of the businesses have already replaced their doorways and are ready for the Shadyside Arts Festival this weekend, but now suddenly a bit more on guard. Reporting in Shadyside, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.